Hi right, guys, welcome to part two of the header video. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and go back and watch part one. This one, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do pace setter, SNS, uh, and then wrap up and do a little bit of talking. Uh, I'll throw some data at you. Let's just get back into it. So at this point, I'm gonna see if this can come off because of how it's wedged on there and seems to be welded. This doesn't seem to turn and this isn't clearing the block, which is a problem. So I'm gonna put this back on real quick and we're gonna see what we can do with this guy. Okay, so I gotta figure it out. Um, they just welded the band. So after some wiggling and prying and whatnot, that came apart. So we're good to continue. So actually, if you're going to be installing these, uh, it's just kind of lay in the that mid pipe in first because it won't be as much of a fight as you see me put up with it. Uh, and then install the rear one. The front one can go on at any point. It's not in the way of anything. And then uh, I loosely get that mid pipe bolted on. And that's when I go underneath and I put that two to one collector on. Uh, just use a rubber mallet, pound that on there. Uh, at that point, I would tighten those band clamps and then I'd head back up and uh, tighten it where it hits the front header. a little more sense now so with this connection and then the connection we'll see on the downpipe back like a ball and socket kind of thing and then you just bolt the two sides together so see how this is flared out there place is flared in it just kind of sits there and it can pivot a little bit so that's right here and down there so no need to worry for gaskets so as far as clearance front's pretty Package like usual, you know. Even your fans, probably about right there. It says pace header right there. And uh, comes around, you know, it's pretty close, but as you can see, I can reach underneath. Come around here, you know, so it clears, leaves room. Definitely a lot of space between that and the trans. And then heading around back, uh, this one. I do like, uh, it does have a lot better clearance. So you'd still have your crossover pipe come across. All right, so that is kind of close, but it does clear. So there's your intake on there. So with that being there, you would still need to kind of fumble with your EGR a little bit but it would be able to go back that way. And then, obviously the cool packs are way up here, so that's all packaged pretty good. I do like how it, it kind of gets close, but it's not. It's all, uh, really impressed with this, uh, this setup. And mind you, that's just pressed on and they're not going anywhere. So down here, so here's your O2 with the wiring. Here's where it falls. So it's kind of just past your subframe, so that'll be good for uh, bolting it on. You won't have to fight with the bolts too hard. But, however, getting to those bands are gonna be fun. Like I said, that one's bolted on, and I'm kinda thankful it did that. So, that down pipe, just kinda try to hold it up, cause it actually goes past where my, where the down pipe actually goes. So, as you see, like I said, that, that ball and socket joint you just bolt on there. Uh, this is a homemade downpipe. So as you see, it falls past where you know a stock cat back would go. That's uh, pace setter headers for you. Uh, definitely my favorite style of headers. Just seeing them installed, um, from the quality to how it's put together, 
I think I think honestly those are probably the best. You get those off boxed up to get back to their owners. And next is SNS. Alright, so next, well, well, yeah, next. So next is SNS. So this is a two-piece design. And uh, what we're gonna do is slide the rear one down and behind, and then we'll get that front one on. Uh, this one's not too bad either. A little bit of a advantage because I've done this a few times. So, so let's get these ones on. Again, I wanna reiterate that when you're putting these together to uh, you know, loosely put everything together, get the back on, get the front on, get that center, whether you have a V-band or if it's the original donut gasket, get that settled and tighten down first and then go back to the actual heads and tighten down the manifold bolts. All right, so here's SNS installed, ish. So two piece, uh, probably the bulkiest of them all, but uh, still not bad installing these things for what they are. So uh, let's show you the downpipe real quick. Now this is actually, uh, that's for Tanner setup actually. And as you can see, it falls right at the cat back. So if you have SNS or are getting SNS, and you need some kind of template, let me know and I will get you uh, details on this thing. Anyway, so here's where this one falls. It's like right at the cradle. Little difficult to get to to get to the bolts, but really not that bad. So I enjoyed them when I had them. Uh, I, I really wish I could actually start this up for you guys because having this with the same muffler that I do, uh, it, a perfect sound but I digress everything does clear pretty good really don't see nothing in the way I also don't remember having any issues um, the Azure 2 sensor falls again but it does sit low enough that it is underneath uh, the cold packs and then your EGR fitting here so quick little side note I almost forgot is uh, on these S and S. You can see where there's nicks there. So that bolt's probably the worst one. It's that very first one, right around the header. So my suggestion is when you're doing all this fumbling here and get it ready to go into place, like so, I get your bolt or nut, whatever lands ready and thread as you go. That way that one's done. Otherwise you're taking the hedge back off and trying to get. So that's it for the NA header comparison. Actually, I'll do one more thing for you guys. All right, so just for fun and just to kind of show you guys um, who are curious about doing you know, a turbo build, uh, just how tight and how packaged it needs to be inside the engine bay. Right off the bat, you can see our problem here. So, battery automatically to the trunk. Don't even second guess it. Um, round back, really nothing to do. Uh, here's our crossover. I mean, obviously, with the battery in there, I can't show you how that works. But um, all of this actually needs to go. And uh, you need to modify your bracket here to get this to sit a little farther back and a little down. Uh, because by the time your turbo fall is right here and you're making a downpipe, you're already uh, interfering. So washer bottle has to go, all the air ducting would have to go. There's a little bit of clearance needs done right about this area so that you can get the turbo to sit how it needs to. But just some quick visuals just so you can see. And you also got to think, you know, yeah, you got this here, but then you also got to think of where the downpipe's going to go to get out of the engine bay. So it's not, not an easy task, not a fun task, but obviously on my car, you can see how it's done in its final form. So.
So real quick, before we wrap, I'm going to put some numbers up on the screen. Basically, what these numbers are, the primaries are the tubes that go from the heads, to each individual head, into a collector. The mid pipe, or however you want to call it, basically where the front connects to the back, that's where I connected that. So that's basically where three cylinders are coming together. And then obviously the down pipe, so where everything's coming together as one and is going out the exhaust. All right, so that'll be a wrap. Yeah, thanks for, uh, if you made it to both videos, thanks for watching both. Um, like I said, it's really cool doing all this. Uh, I sent the TOGs off to their new home and I gotta get the other ones boxed up and prepare to go back to their home. Big shout out, Tim White. Uh, he's a big Alero guy actually, but he's been in the world for quite a while, uh, both with Grand Ams and Aleros, so he was nice enough to let me borrow some of this stuff to use for this video. Uh, that in itself is a, a really big deal. Shows how the community can come together for stuff like this. But um, So yeah, thanks to him. He knows. If you haven't, uh, I don't believe he has Instagram, but on Facebook, uh, in both the Graham and Alera groups, Tim White, uh, he's known for his bagged Alero uh, with the OSV kit. Uh, Tim, if you're watching this, you need to get that car done. I uh, wish, wish we could do more. Uh, maybe down the road in the future if I'm a little more established. Something I would like to put out there is uh, if, if any of you guys have these headers installed in your car, uh, and even someone who's got a completely stock one, uh, if you're able to get it dynoed, uh, let me know and maybe we can find a way to get it videoed and if you know everyone with each brand can can send me some video or if I can come get some video, uh, I can compile that together as a video too and, and you know really put some numbers out for everybody you know down the road and something to look back on anyway. But until the next one, Thanks for watching, and we'll see ya.